what's my take on CRISPR? If this is going to be the future, what are the chances of an intelligence divide among future kids? Will a normal kid stand any chance against these genetically modified super kids? So CRISPR is a gene editing technology. I think it's called CRISPR CAS9. So it's a technology that allows us, that allows scientists or the users to add or replace, to add or delete genes in vivo, in, in, in a living being. And it also allows the, if, if you do it the right way, to make these changes inheritable. So not only can you change the genome of a living person, but you can actually make that change be inheritable in the person's children. So that is in very brief, in a nutshell, what CRISPR is. And this is a technology that raises a great deal of ethical and philosophical and other concerns, right? And legal questions and much more. So because of this technology, it is possible to choose the hair color, the eye color, the, the, the height and much more of children. So you can basically create these super kids or designer babies, right? So in the future, the rich and the powerful and the ones who can afford to access this technology may be possibly able to do this. So they may be able to have very specific kinds of children, right? And these changes may be inheritable in their children's children. So if this sort of thing becomes the norm, then there will definitely be an intelligence divide among the haves and the have-nots, the ones who have been enhanced using CRISPR and those who cannot afford to do that. So yeah, you could essentially create a, a race of superhumans with greatly enhanced abilities, greatly enhanced physiques, uh, superior heart heart function, superior intelligence, and and much more. So a normal child would eventually, as the technology advances, a normal child would not stand a chance against these genetically modified super kids. So that's a very good question. The, the this raises a lot of ethical issues. Is it ethically is it ethically fine to to do such things? I mean, aren't we supposed to let uh, the laws of genetics and the laws of nature take their own course? Or are we going to start modifying ourselves? And it, the thing is, we don't even understand what happens, the long run, uh, the long run effect, the long term effects of such genetic modifications, because uh, our genome, okay, let's take our genome, for example, it's the entire contents of our DNA. Our DNA is, is divided into 23 chromosomes and all these chromosomes, they make up the human genome. Now we understand about two or 3% of the human genome and about more than 95% is absolutely not understood at all. It's called the dark matter of DNA because it seems to be non-coding DNA. It doesn't seem to have any purpose, but it's there in our genome and it's, it's passed on from generation to generation. And we don't know what these genes do, what this dark matter of the DNA does. But just because we don't understand what it, what it does, doesn't mean that it doesn't do anything. It may be doing something, it may have some functions that have, that have uh, evolved over, over millions of years, and it may have some real uh, function in regulating and, and our bodies. So if one were to make certain changes in the DNA, it may have some effects because of the other part of the DNA, the, the majority of the DNA that, DNA that we do not understand. And this may have effects that may become visible several generations down the line, at which stage it may be too late to rectify the mistakes that were done. So these are technologies that are in their infancy. They have not matured by any means. And I think it is extremely dangerous and unethical to start experimenting on humans as if we know everything, right? We, we are in the infancy of this technology. And some Chinese scientists have already created CRISPR edited babies. And uh, the experiment failed. I don't think it caused any harm in those two babies, two twin girls. 
but we don't know yet. Time will tell how how their life goes. So the Chinese don't seem to really um, worry too much about ethics and all that. They are concerned more with world domination, and they have a, they have a lot of people, so it's okay to mess up a few lives. I expect. So that's the thing with CRISPR. It's a very powerful technology, but the kind of power it gives you, it it, it can be easily misused. And the mistakes that are made with this power, they are almost impossible to rectify. And we don't even understand this technology fully or even slightly. So that is what CRISPR is. It is definitely the future. You're going to have gene editing. You're going to have gene drives and much more. It is the future. It's in the infancy of the technology. So it is a little early to to start making a human to, to start doing human experimentation but in the future i think it's going to create a significant divide among people among genetically enhanced people and the people who cannot afford the technology or do who don't have have access to it so these technologies artificial intelligence quantum computing gene editing these are tools any technology is merely a tool a stick is a tool a gun is a tool. Nuclear energy, nuclear power is a tool. The concepts of flight, right? Power flight, that is a tool. Everything is a tool and a tool can be used for good or for bad. A stick can be used for good or for bad. Computers can be used for good or for evil. Nuclear power can change the world. It can power the entire planet or it can destroy the planet. And similarly, AI, quantum computing, CRISPR, gene editing, all of these, if they can be used for good, they can well solve all the problems of humanity. And if they are used by a very small number of people to, to empower themselves and enrich themselves, then they can exacerbate all the problems the world is currently seeing. For example, today, we already have the technology to solve world hunger and many diseases. We have the, the ability to, to basically give everybody a decent life, everybody on the planet. And yet that's not happening because there's a great deal of inequality and that inequality is done on purpose. So technology is just a tool. It all depends on how it is used and it cannot change human nature. So these problems are going to be, well, they're going to occur in the future, including CRISPR.